Well, hello everybody. I would like to welcome every single one of you over here in the beautiful Lithuanian World Center on 75th Moravian Day. Yes, that is correct. 75th. Ladies and gentlemen, that is three quarters, three quarters of century of this beautiful culture and folklore that we are celebrating tonight. Uh, United Moravian Societies, as many of you already know, was actually founded in 1938. Uh, that is a long, long, long time ago, as, as probably everybody knows now. Um, let me just say right up front a uh, couple of words. I would like to apologize all of the people that do not understand English. Uh, unfortunately, there is more of those that do, so I would like to try to make my speech in English, but Pro ty lidi, kteří nerozumí anglickému jazyku až tak moc, já bych se vám chtěl prosím vás omluvit, že, veškerý, že celý speech bude vlastně v, v angličtině, poněvadž je tady víc lidí, kteří rozumí. A, a, já bych to chtěl zkusit po slovensku těž. Já bych se chtěl ospravedlnit všem lidem, kteří nerozumí anglickému jazyku, protože je tu věc i těch, kteří rozumia a za to, by som, a za to by som považoval, že by bolo rozumné mať ten speech v angličtine. Um, once again, well, what do you think about this croje? What do you think about these costumes? Awesome, isn't it? It's, it's one spectacular thing. That is just, that is just beautiful. We all, we all probably agree on that. Um, I would like to introduce the band that's going to be playing for you over here. Uh, band Lancho Chanka. Over here with the, <laughs> with the band leader, Mr. Emil Hruby. Uh, they, they flew all the way from uh, Moravia uh, to play for our 75th anniversary over here. And we are uh, very, very, very happy to have them in here. And uh, of course, everybody welcomes uh, an excellent band like this. Um, so on the beginning, I, j I would just like to say a couple of the few words about the club that uh, you have all came in here to support tonight. Um, the club that organizes this Moravian Day is uh, something spectacular uh, that has been said so many times, it has been published so many times. And uh, one of the few things that I would like to say is, and I didn't even know that myself, but it has been brought to my attention that um, uh, Moravian Day, at its own, is basically one of the biggest folklore festival celebrations behind the borders of Czech Republic, which I think that that is, that is just one spectacular thing to have here in, uh, in the state of Illinois and Chicago area. Uh, that's one of the very few things that uh, we're extremely proud of. And so many people has asked a very simple question. They're like, Roman, why do you think that this is happening? Why do you think that the club survived for so many years? 75. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a three quarters of a century. That's a long, long time. So uh, I believe that main reason why this club is actually surviving for so long is that the entire ideology that has came at the very first moment when the United Moravian Societies was actually formed and that is the idea behind keeping the old European traditions still alive and pass them down on all of the generations all the way down to the youngest to the as to youngest as the young can they can be um, when I'm talking about a European culture uh, most of you know that, for those who don't, Moravia is actually a region of Czech Republic and it's strategically positioned exactly in the middle of the Europe and therefore uh, Moravians has been celebra celebrating something like a, a Moravian day back in Europe already before the Roman Empire, which I believe it's another very spectacular thing and they have been always so proud of their traditions and of such a colorful and, uh, and a beautiful events with all of the music and singing. Uh, therefore, another country has tried to join, you know, uh, because Moravia, south part of the Moravia, it's sort of a wine county in there. So 
the uh, uh, Moravian festival became uh, sort of a celebration, so, sort of a ce celebration of uh, wine harvesting time, where all of the hard work is basically over and people are getting ready just for party. So it's uh, it's 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 uh, it's basically something that joins the Oktoberfest and wine harvesting time all together, and that's what you are all going to be able to see and hear tonight in here. Um, not only that, the club has been actually uh, so successful for so many years because that, and because all of the generations that we're trying to pass it down into, that will eventually grow into the people that then, uh, once again, will pass it down into their generations. What I'm talking about is the groups, uh, the dancing groups that you're going to be witnessing today. Um, the youngest group that we have actually starts with four-year-olds, uh, four-year-old kids, four, five, and six, and uh, all the way up to 104-year-olds. And I believe that that is one of the magic why all of this is surviving for so long. Um, another, another very uh, important thing that I would like to mention tonight, which is another thing that we are extremely proud of, and that is the fact that nobody who joins United Moravian Societies and like to learn dancing and singing of the old European cultures and folklore, nobody pays a single penny to do so. Everything is absolutely pro bono. There is no charge for any of the classes that you can visit. Um, therefore, United Moravian Societies basically survives strictly on the generous donations and people that are donating not necessarily just the money and the gifts, but of course their hard work and all of these hours that they have put in just to make this happen. And not only this event, United Moravian Societies uh, uh, does actually own a building, a club, United Moravian Societies Club, where every month there is something going on. And we're trying to bring the culture in between all of the people and everybody, uh, everybody around, of course. Um, another very important thing that this uh, particular event actually could have happened is because all the sponsors. And therefore, I would like to thank to every, every one of them that actually has participated on a sponsorship for this Moravian Day. Uh, Hensman Funeral Home, of course, uh, our good friends. Sokol Central, uh, Central District, uh, that has been participating and uh, been a very, very good friends with United Moravian Societies for a long time. Uh, Chicago Czech Center, uh, Chicago Czech American Community Center, uh, Restaurant Cafe Prague, excellent food, by the way. Um, of course, uh, the Matoni Mineral Water, which is the product of uh, Czech Republic. Um, I would recommend that. It's, it's actually very good, excellent. And then the uh, online TV one, and a Kablovka, which is um, um, internet television, Czech and Slovak television, and uh, they have helped us a lot over over a few last years as well. Um, I would like to, of course, um, uh, introduce the wine that uh, anybody can purchase in our bar area over there. It is that wine actually came straight from Moravia, so that is the reason why all of these celebrations actually started and still continue back in the Czech Republic. And uh, that wine is from Vina Sklepi Lechovice. Um, and uh, I believe that you guys can actually enjoy its uh, very rich and, and uh, awesome taste. Of course, uh, one of the two uh, big uh, breweries from Czech Republic that has uh, joined our festival as well, and that is a Staropramen and a Czech war. Uh, for those who do like beer, they know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I would like to also uh, thank the Lithuanian Word Center that they have housed us for the uh, past few years over here. And um, I would, of course, uh, uh, without uh, their generosity, uh, it would not be possible. Um, another thing that I would like to really mention is that uh, it's not just the sponsors that I would like to thank tonight. and. Uh, Another thing that is extremely important and make this club to survive for so long 
is such hard work um, from all of the members and uh, every single one of the participants that you can see here tonight. Uh, I cannot name all of them because I would be here for another two hours and I'm already probably too long right now, but every single one of them has put so much, so much into this entire club and that is why all of this is happening. Uh, there, therefore, I would like to mention that just because I'm the only one who's, uh, who is standing in here on this stage and trying to speak into this microphone with uh, shaky hands and knees, uh, this applause was not just for one single person. It is the entire team of the people that has been behind all of this for years and years and years, and they should all get recognized. Therefore, I would like to clap my hands to them. <laughs> And then there is, uh, there is of course, uh, one and the last thing that, uh, that makes this entire event and United Moravian societies uh, successful as they are, and that is, uh, if you take a look into your, onto your neighbor right now, whoever you are sitting next to or standing next to, and that is exactly who made this event happen. Once again, for 75th time, thank you very much, every single one of you, and all of you, because without your support, it would not be happening for that long. Thank you very much. And now I would like to pass this microphone uh, into our uh, very dear guests that has actually came and joined us in our celebration. And we are extremely proud that we can actually welcome them in here as well and uh, that they showed their support to what will go on in a few more minutes in here and what is going on for so long. And that is a uh, 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 U.S. Senator Mark Kirk and uh, State Controller Judy Bartopinka. Hello, Adobri Dan. Dobri Dan, what a wonderful day, the 75th anniversary. And we are very, very honored today because we have someone very special with here. You know, I come every year, I'm ordinary. But today, we have our United States Senator, Mark Kirk. Here he is. Absolutely. Mark, oh. Now, Mark, you want to explain the problem. Mark and I have a problem. And uh, Senator Kirk, this is, I got so much spaghetti here. You'd think it's Italian, wouldn't you? All right. Uh, anyway, he has a problem. I have a problem. Uh, I have a problem. I have no one to uh, say Najda to uh, with my cup here, my Moravian cup. Did you just say Nazdar? You know, it's Najdar. It's, uh, it's empty now. Can somebody help me uh, yes. put something oh, in oh, my oh, Najdar oh, oh, Mark, cup? Mark, Mark, right here, right here. Oh, a little. Oh, so, now be careful, that could be Slivovitz. I don't know. If it's Slivovitz, you're gone for the day. Najdar, Najdar, Najdar. Oh my goodness. As my bubby would say, yes, Now it's nap time for Marky. Okay, and, and here, you want to tell us that? Yeah, it's nap time for Marky now after uh, some Slivovitz like this. It was Slivovitz? I hope so. It was definitely alcoholic. I was wondering why it was so uh, great to be a Moravian. And uh, let me say something political that Judy Bartzenpink and Mark Kirk are pro Eastern European. Yeah, yeah, we are. We are. Absolutely, and I'll tell you, no one has been more supportive in Congress of the Czech Republic than our Senator Mark Kirk. He understands. He gets it. Yeah. You want more of that stuff? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's good, yeah. And we're not really for Putin, are we? No, 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 we're not for Putin. We don't like Putin. Putin, out. Anybody else we don't like? 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we want to just say we are so proud of our Moravian heritage here. If you're Moravian, shout out. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear it again. Let's uh, come on, you guys. I hope that you had a couple of these already. Oh, boy, I don't know. He's going to be hard to handle today. Yeah, there you go. But, you know, he did have this, and we don't, nobody here, and maybe somebody in the audience knows, what is the word for this little cup, uh, this little thing that holds the shot glass? What is the word for it? Somebody, you got to, somebody tell us that. Oh, Mark, Mark. It's, a, it's actually Nazdravi. It kind of sounds like nice driveway. Nazdravi. All right, you want some more? I'm, uh, yeah. Oh, boy. I didn't count on this. This was not in the script. Well, he's going to vote right. I mean, you know. Oh, yes. There we go. And I did say that will help you vote right, right? Certainly, uh, we're going to be pro-Moravian. Yes. Pro-Moravian, there you go, the right vote. There you go. Oh, my goodness, that is so incredible. I've been to so many Moravian days, but I've never seen anything like that happen on the stage. And I think it was Slivovitz. I'm very hopeful that Mark makes it back to Washington or whatever. But to all of you, it's our 75th anniversary. This is so spectacular. You know? And I'm going to give this back here. Uh, and, and to all of you, thank you for coming out, for being supportive of Moravian Day, of our heritage, don't ever let it slip away. It is so good to see the kids in it because that means the next generation will be there for us as well. And thank you so much. God bless you all. So how great was that, right? I mean, these guys can have fun too. We all know that, we all know that. We all know Judy as well. She's been here for a while and uh, on every single year, of course very good friend and dear friend of ours. Uh, there is a couple more people that I would like to recognize tonight that actually came in, uh, in, in support of United Moravian Societies and, and uh, those are actually uh, very important people for every single one of us as well. Um, and that would be uh, State represent, uh, Representative J uh, Jim Dur Durbin and uh, Illinois Director of Agriculture Bob Flyder who is probably going to tell you about his days in United Moravian Societies. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Jim Durkin, U-R-K-I-N. And uh, that's all right, often confused. But uh, I am the current state representative for this area in the 82nd District. I represent the beautiful village of Lamont. And for those of you who are visiting, welcome to Lamont. It's a great town. And it has such a strong, strong Eastern European culture here. And that's why it's an absolute honor to serve in this capacity, representing men and women and the families from, from Czechoslovakia, from the Moravians, and all the other great Eastern European cultures that we have. I just want to thank you for this honor of saying hello, introducing myself, but I want to thank you for the contribution that your community has made throughout the state of Illinois for many, 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 many years, going back to 1926 when you had your first festival, the Moravian Day Festival, and the heritage and this tradition continues on. So thank you so much for this honor of being here. I'd like to introduce uh, now the Director of Agriculture for the state of Illinois, an old colleague and friend, Bob Flyter, who, uh, who also is of Moravian descent, and I, he has a proclamation uh, that he has to honor today's event. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Representative. Um, Jim is very modest. He's also one of the um, main leaders in the House of Representatives, and we're really honored to have, here, have him here today. Um, I'll tell you, this is a really a special moment uh, for me personally today, as well as our family, um, because we're here commemorating the 75th anniversary of Moravian Day. And when I think back in my youth, I used to uh, serve in Besitka, I used to dance in Omladina. My grandfather was the, uh, yeah. 
My grandfather was president of UMS, United Moravian Societies, for 38 years, so this holds a special place uh, in, in my heart. And, and just as so many families, it's a part of our family, it's a part of our upbringing. And um, I'm proud to say, too, that my mom is here. Uh, she's, uh, she was here at the beginning, Frances Flyter, uh, as well as my aunts, uh, Lillian Shalupa and uh, jo Josephine Gaeta and their family. So we're all here to just commemorate the 75th, and uh, it's, it's a really big deal. But, you know, one of the things that I can't remember or can't help but uh, forget, words that anybody who ever danced in my era will never forget, and those are the famous words of Mrs. Lishka, and that is, heel, toe, and away we go. <laughs> we'll never forget. But uh, Governor Quinn uh, asked me to uh, stop by uh, on his behalf. He could not be here today. He was breaking ground on a veteran's uh, home here in, uh, here in uh, Chicago, so he couldn't make it. But uh, he, he did want me to share this proclamation, and I'd like to read parts of it to you if I could. Whereas Moravia is a province of Czech, the Czech Republic, also known as the breadbasket of Czechoslovakia, and Moravians are one of the oldest cultural groups in the world, dating back to before the Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> Moravia has given birth to several prominent in individuals, such as the Teacher of Nations, Jan Thomas Komensky and Thomas G. Musadik, who would later go on to influence the entire Czech region. And the beautiful Moravian folk costumes and traditional folk music were always a part of every community and civic function in Chicago dating back to the mid-1920s. And 22 individual Moravian social organizations banded together on November 29, 1938 and formed the United Moravian Societies, whereas the Chicago Moravian Clubs were one of the first ethnic groups to participate in war bond rallies and they gave performances on State Street in Chicago's Loop for the purposes of promoting the sale of war bonds and stamps during World War II. And whereas Czech Americans contribute significantly to this country through working in a variety of different professions, it's important that we recognize their valuable contributions making the United States a world leader in business and politics and the courage they've displayed in serving our country during times of war. And whereas this year Czech Americans throughout Chicagoland and throughout the United States and North America will celebrate the 75th Moravian Day event. Therefore, I, Pat Quinn, Governor of Illinois, do hereby proclaim September 21st, 2014 as Moravian Day in the state of Illinois and encourage all citizens to learn about the wonderful contributions that Czech immigrants have made to our state and the nation of a whole. A signed Pat Quinn, Governor. So I present this to you. President Bobchik, I'd like to present this with, to you along with uh, Representative Durkin and uh, wish you uh, the best in uh, 75 more years. I'm sure you'll do great in those 75 years as president. Thank you. Wow, wow, that, that, that will leave any president speechless, something like this. It's, uh, um, wow. So basically for those who uh, might have not heard this, uh, today's day, September 21st, has been officially uh, named as a Moravian day in the state of Illinois forever and ever. Thank you very much, everybody, um, and uh, thank you for uh, all of your great speeches. There is a, there's a couple, of, uh, just a few more people that I would like to uh, recognize tonight, and that would be uh, Monsignor Esterka over here who just uh, flew from California to serve the today's morning mass and uh, also there would be a uh, uh, Cook County Board of uh, Review Commissioner uh, Dan Patlock who is in here in between us somewhere in there right there at that table thank you very much for coming we're very glad to see you here and uh, this is not going to take uh, much longer. There's a couple more people. I would like to uh, say a couple of words to us. And uh, there is uh, uh, our Counselor General Bozek Lizetz for Czech Republic and uh, Slovak Honorary Council from Florida, Dr. Cecilia, uh, Cecilia Rokusek. Tak děkuji vám pěkně a pozdravujeme vás z Floridě a vítáme vás srdečně. 
I'm so pleased on behalf of Ambassador to the United States, uh, Peter Kmetz, who is our Slovak ambassador, and he wanted me to greet you and to congratulate the society on 75 years of holding our beautiful traditions together. And in addition, your Slovak Honorary Council, Rosemary Machko wazinski could not be here today because she's in California. And she wanted me to welcome you on behalf of the Slovak Honorary Council here in Illinois. So I came all the way from Florida to wish you a happy, happy anniversary. But more importantly, I wanted to compliment the Moravian societies for keeping these beautiful traditions alive. And I'm going to say one last thing. We in Florida this year had the opportunity to have the Omladina dance for us. And I cannot tell you what this, to the society what you did to keep our heritage alive in Florida. We're going to invite you back. And we want you to know that what you have here in the Chicago land is something nobody can ever take away from you. And I'm going to say my final words in Czechoslovak because I mix them together. Ja sem štvrta generacija narozena v Tari, v Tabože Ižni Dakoče. A moje rodiče me učili česki, a ja sem veľmi rada. So I want all of you to continue those traditions and teach your children and your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren. Thank you very much. See you in Florida in January for our Czech and Slovak days. And again, congratulations and keep up the good work here in Florida. And it's my honor to now give it to the Council General. Thank you very much. Tak já bych vám chtěl především popřát příjemné odpoledne a poděkovat ústředně moravských spolků, že mě pozvala tak krátce po mém příjezdu a dala mi příjezd, abych vás také pozdravil. I enjoyed every uh, Moravian day I attended during my previous posting. And uh, when I stand here now and I see uh, so many friends uh, that I worked with in the past, that I am really returning to my second home. So uh, that I wanted to say in the beginning. Uh, I would also like to uh, mention a name of uh, Joe Borisek, who actually was the first uh, person who invited me as president of United Moravian Societies uh, to this festival. And of course, I miss him here, and I'm glad to see Mira Borisek here today. I. Thank you. And I would, I would add that I think that uh, Joe would actually be very proud to see the 75th Moravian Day and the work that uh, Roman Bobchik as the new president and successor is doing. I congratulate him on that. Of course, I see so many friends that I worked here before. I see John Škach and Wojciech Ládek and all of you. So thanks, thank you. And thank you for this wonderful presentation of uh, Czech Moravian culture in the United States. Thank you for doing a great job on my behalf. And uh, also I would like to make sure that you know that uh, my government knows about the festival and I will also report about this festival. I am uh, very glad that we could at least a little bit contribute and support uh, the festival through our gra grant program that the Czech government supports uh, Czechs living abroad and I hope this will happen also in the future. Uh, and uh, to coming to an end, I thought about to tell you something perhaps uh, because I know that you are all proud Moravians. So I would like to give you one more reason to be proud uh, of this year. This year has been a great year for Moravia and specifically for its wines. I would like to tell you that the uh, Czech Riesling wine of winery Petr Vacenovsky actually won the very best wine in the San Francisco International Festival. And another winery won in Paris, uh, best Chardonnay of the year in uh, Chardonnay du Monde Festival. So, coming to my close, I would say what uh, ends with a quote of Louis Pasteur, who actually said that it is um, it is, uh, there is more wisdom in the bottle of wine than even in a great book. 
So I am not quite sure about that, but uh, I would suggest that we test it during the afternoon. So I would like to uh, wish you a great 50, 75th Moravian day a uh, samozřejmě příjemnou zábavu a zdar Moravskému dní 2014. Děkuju. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So after all of these excellent words of wisdom uh, from all of the all of the uh, honorary guests that actually came in here tonight, uh, I think we're all gonna get psyched up for what's gonna happen in here in a few more minutes, and uh, I'm pretty sure that you guys are gonna enjoy every single moment of it. And uh, I would like to introduce uh, the Vice President of the United Moravian Societies, Denise Karlček. Good afternoon, everybody. I promise I will make this short. Um, first of all, I want to thank everyone once again for coming today. Uh, thank you for making our 75th Moravian Day possible. If I could please ask, uh, Anyone that has ever been to our first Moravian Day, if they could please stand up. Anybody that's been to our first Moravian Day, if they could please stand up. Cool. Ladies, each of you has a young lady next to you. Thank you very much for making this day possible for us and our generation and for our future generations and helping us keep this pos uh, as a possibility. Uh, last but not least, if I could please just ask everybody for a moment of silence for everybody that has been part of this club that we've lost, whether recently or in the past. Uh, if we could just bow our heads and remember them in, in spirit and thank them for making this possible, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I'm done, thank you, but uh, I'm ready for the band to start. Are you guys ready to see something happen? Chisu hodi! Nashe hodi! Hoshi hrajeme! Already, so that is, that is our beautiful vice president over here. I, I think I forgot to mention my name. For, so for those who didn't, my name is Roman Bobsik. I'm president of United Moravian Society and thank you very much for coming here. <laughs> 